time of year to stock up on uh, fresh produce and all kinds of other things. You want to stock up on foods when they're on sale, freeze them, uh, freeze them for later. It's a great way to save money and have that delicious summer produce available later on in the fall and winter. There are just a few exceptions, though, this morning. So on the daily list, I've got two things you can just pop right into the freezer and one entire group of things that you can't. All right, number one, pop into the freezer, cherries. Right now, they mm. are everywhere. Yes. We're selling them on street corners, kids going door to door, got them in the uh, grocery store, all kinds of cherries. Uh, but if you, and, and I actually was thinking, oh, I don't want to make cherry crisp for the next 10 days in a row. Well, don't worry if you can't use them right away. Cherries freeze beautifully. Here's what you do. You wash them off, pat them dry with a towel, uh, discard any cherries that are broken or bruised or otherwise blemished. You only want to keep the firm, ripe cherries. Take out the, uh, take off the stem, pop out those pits with a uh, pitter. And there's a little device you can get for a couple of bucks. Put the cherries on a cookie sheet in a single layer and freeze them. That'll keep them from freezing together in a big clump. Then once they're frozen like that, you can transfer them to a freezer bag or another freezer safe container so the cherries are all loose. That way you can take out just as much as you need. Seal up the bag and label it. Those cherries will stay good for uh, quite a long time, maybe as long as six months there. All right. Number two to pop in the freezer, eggs, believe it or not. What? But, yeah, but not in the shell. Oh. Now, eggs last a long time in the refrigerator, longer than you think, as long as five weeks, or even longer if they were particularly fresh when you bought them. But if you're stuck with more eggs than you can use in the next month or more, and when they go on sale, you're so tempted, or maybe buying the 18 pack, mm -hmm. freezing them is a great way to preserve them. You can you uh, can freeze whole eggs, but not in the shell. Uh, it's very simple to do. Uh, crack open uh, the shells, uh, drop the eggs into a bowl, gently beat them, just gently. You don't want to get a lot of air into them. Mixture, mm -hmm. and then once the eggs are beaten, pop them into ice cube tray uh, oh. holders. Yeah, mm -hmm. then you can freeze servings that are about uh, maybe the size of an egg, maybe slightly less than that. Then you can take out what you need uh, to use for scrambled eggs, and they say it's not going to affect the uh, the consistency of the eggs at all. Wow. But you cannot freeze whole eggs in the shell; they uh, they won't last, and and you don't want to eat eggs that have been frozen that way. All right, things you cannot pop into the freezer: any kind of cream-based products, sour mm -hmm. cream, mm -hmm. uh, yogurt, custards. They're just going to separate when they're frozen. That can also apply to soft cheeses like cream cheese and goat's cheese, cottage cheese, any kind of spreadable cheese, and mayonnaise as well. That will just separate in the freezer. Hard cheeses like cheddar uh, you can put in there, and those freeze actually very well. So if you find that on sale, that can go in the freezer, but just not any soft, creamy type of uh, spreadable thing. All right. For more on what to freeze or not to freeze, you can go to GoodDaySacramento.com. Click show info there at the top of the page, and then today's date. Back to you guys. There you go. Freeze an egg. Well, Mercy.